Hey guys, welcome back to week 13 of the MIT Challenge, which is to learn MIT's four-year computer science curriculum in 12 months without taking any classes or even being enrolled in MIT. So I just got back from a two-week vacation, which is why I didn't post any updates the last two weeks. Uh, the last week of which I was spent in the Dominican Republic, enjoying the sun, uh, sleeping, eating, and drinking too much. And now I'm back to work. I'm back in Canada. I'm not in Vancouver. I'm actually in my hometown of the Paw Manitoba, which boasts uh, exceptionally cold winters of an average January temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius. So I'm getting some real winter before I go back to Vancouver, which is considerably milder. And I'm going to be working on three new courses now. So this is courses 11, 12, and 13 of the 33 that I need to do to complete the MIT challenge. Uh, the first is linear algebra. So for those of you who haven't studied linear algebra before, it's another branch of mathematics like calculus, and it's very fundamental for doing a lot of calculations, image manipulation, artificial intelligence. So I'm looking to understand linear algebra better because it'll be really useful in doing a lot of programs and a lot of solving interesting problems in computer science. Second class I'm going to be doing is introduction to algorithms, which not only gives you algorithms or ways of solving problems uh, for various different types of problems, such as sorting and graphing and scheduling, but it also gives you a language and a mathematics for understanding the efficiency of algorithms, so how fast they run. And that's crucially important because if you've ever used a Google search, you notice that it only takes a fraction of a second to bring up all those results. And if it didn't have fast algorithms doing that, then it could be taking minutes, hours, even centuries to run the same process if it was using an inefficient algorithm. So it's very important for practical considerations to understand algorithms and particularly their efficiency. The third class I'm doing is probabilistic systems analysis. I've done a little bit of probability in the last class I finished, uh, mathematics for computer science. And probability and statistical reasoning is really important for real life, not just computer science, for understanding a lot of problems involving your health, uh, interpreting scientific journal reports and scientific statements about the world, and even just general reasoning. And I think it's no surprise that people who've studied engineering tend to think more rationally about problems because they've been trained in this whole discipline of thinking through rational ways, critical thinking, and probabilistic and statistical reasoning. So it may sound really academic and abstract, a lot of these topics I'm doing, but they do tie back to real life, even outside the context which are, they're really useful, which is computer science. So I'm really looking forward to taking on these three classes. I'm trying to rein in my time a little bit. Uh, near the end of the last three months, I was taking about seven, eight uh, days per class. I'm trying to tighten that back up to five or six because uh, I want to save more time for the end where I can, you know, have a little bit more flexibility in case some things go awry as they inevitably do. And also because some of the bigger programming classes I haven't started yet. And I want to give those a larger amount of time because I expect if I have to do large programming assignments, there's not going to be as much room to accelerate that. It's just going to be a lot of work. So it, while I'm doing technical classes, which are based off of uh, final exams, I'm going to be accelerating those and trying to do those in a shorter period of time. So thanks for following. Uh, this is going to be a continued update, so I'm going to be updating you guys next week on my progress with these three classes in the MIT Challenge in general. So stay subscribed below, and I'll be updating you on this, as well as the latest learning tips and self-education resources that you can be using as well. So thanks for following. Bye.